Dear students, have you ever wondered why free ammonia in the blood is highly toxic? Because free ammonia is capable of causing encephalopathy, metabolic encephalopathy. Why? Now imagine, if there is one free ammonia molecule, you have to use an alpha ketoglutrate to trap it as glutamate. Now alpha ketoglutrate is a part of a bigger important cycle called as TCA cycle. Every time you remove alpha ketoglutrate to trap ammonia, one TCA cycle comes to a dramatic halt. If it happens in the brain, brain will have depletion of ATP. That is supposed to come from TCA cycle. Point number two, if the alpha ketoglutrate has become glutamate and if glutamate levels are higher, remember glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter, it can cause excitatory defect in the brain. Now this alpha ketoglutrate after becoming glutamate in the brain can accept one more ammonia as an amide bond to become glutamine. When glutamate is becoming glutamine, the ability of glutamate to go for decarboxylation to become GABA is reduced. GABA is not formed. GABA is gamma aminobutyric acid and inhibitory neurotransmitter. If the inhibitory neurotransmitter is not formed, again excitation happens. Now remember, this glutamate as an excitatory neurotransmitter will cause seizures, the same as in the formation of poor amounts of GABA. Next is, ammonia is highly hygroscopic, it attracts water into the brain. And when the water descends at the bottom of the brain where it compresses the brainstem, it is capable of causing cerebral edema and death. These are the reasons why ammonia can be toxic to the brain.